let the redeemed of the Lord shout a wonderful hallelujah that hallelujah is standing on one leg I want you to jump up and rise on your feet and shout hallelujah amen please be seated pastor Dari my husband was a wonderful person he was amazing in every sense of the way I do not mourn him at all I weep because he left me he slept he did not die he did not die and I know I am sure because on the resurrection morning he will rise again and we will see him in glory I'm sure because he was saved I'm sure because he believed in Christ his salvation was sure it was certain he said if I die today I know I am fulfilled I have done what the Lord has asked me to do he was not afraid of death he was not afraid it is not a matter of how short it is not a matter of time but how well and he lived well he lived a good life he lived to the glory of God he lived he served God his life was dedicated to Christ and that is why I, I am sure that he is in heaven I am sure that he made it and I want to say brethren today that if you are not sure of your salvation if you are not sure that if you sleep tonight you might not wake up tomorrow you are not sure of where you will be in eternity you have not given your life to Christ at all if you are here today you heard and perhaps you just came to see yes it's true he is sleeping in the Lord but are you sure of yourself are you sure of where you will be are you sure of eternity you haven't given your life to Christ or perhaps you did and take I, and took it back from him I want you to raise your right hand this evening if you are not sure of your salvation you are not sure you are going to sleep in the Lord you are not sure of where you are going to end up you are afraid to die because you are not living a holy life if you are afraid to die because you are not saved because the devil is still in control of your life I want you to raise your right hand up this evening wherever you are just raise, it, raise your right hand up raise it up and let the Lord save you today don't be ashamed don't be shy you are not going to die you are not going to die I want you to be saved just as my husband was saved I want you to make it I want you to be sure of yourself I want you to live your life fully for Jesus I want you to rededicate your life to him if you if you are if you were once saved I want you to tell him Lord Jesus I come before you today please save me I want to surrender my life back to you help me because I cannot do this on my own that if you come before tomorrow morning I will reign with you in your kingdom in Jesus name we have prayed thank you everyone that have come to honor God in his life thank you for coming and I pray that the Almighty God will reward us all in Jesus name praise the Lord
they have the fortitude to bear the loss and god rest his soul god comforts his wife and his children too so please say a word of prayer for his family in times like this because it is easy for us to make it a church thing because he is the son of a popular church founder but this is also a loss to a particular family so please say a word of prayer to his family in times like this thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it like i said earlier give it a thumbs up like it share with your family and friend and i'll be back with a new one until such time like this please take care of yourself take care of your loved ones show them love now that they are here with us and bye bye